Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you are going to learn how to design steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we are going to familiarize ourselves with our model and learn how to specify the steel design code and the yield strength of our structural steel members. We will now turn our attention to the sample model that was supplied with this training course. In STAD Pro Connect Edition, the typical workflow is to move from left to right through the workflow page control area. Before we begin the design process, let's first familiarize ourselves with the steel structure by reviewing the information that has already been created. If we take a look at the properties area, we will see that section properties and material properties have been assigned to all of the members and plates in this model. The model contains wide flange sections, HSS tubes, and angles that we assigned using the AISC sections database. In addition, this model also contains several steel rods and steel plates. Also, the loads for this model have already been created, including dead load, live load, and seismic load. If we take a look at the load combinations, we would see that the AISC public load combination generator was used to generate LRFD style load combinations. This will be important when we specify the steel design code. Finally, for this model, we will be performing a P-delta analysis that considers both P large delta and P small delta effects. Every model must contain an analysis command before invoking the design commands. Now that we have become comfortable with this model, we will now move on to the design process, which will begin with specifying the appropriate steel design code. To begin that process, we're going to go up to our workflow page control area and select the design tab. Once this is selected, the steel design dialog will appear in the data area. Our first step for this model is to select the code that you want to use. To select the steel design code, you're going to go to the current code pull down menu within the top of the steel design dialog. Here you're going to find a list of available codes in STAD Pro Connect Edition, including several US and international design codes. For this course, we're going to be selecting the AISC 36010 code. Within the AISC 360, design methods are available for either ASD or LRFD design. As you might recall, in the loading area of the program, we did specify LRFD style load combinations. So we're going to want to make sure that we select an LRFD steel design code. To start that process, we're going to go and click on the Define Parameters button within the steel design dialog. We're going to scroll down until we find the method parameter, and here we're going to find our two different methods that are available. We're going to select the LRFD option for this training course, click the Add button, and then click Close. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of the Steel Design dialog, we're going to see that a Parameter 1 folder has been started. It lists our design code that we're going to be using and we can confirm that we've selected the LRFD design method. For each of the design codes, STAD Pro does contain a large number of parameters which are needed to perform code checking operations, and these are available through the various buttons at the bottom of the steel design dialog. We're going to start by taking a look at the design parameters, which are available through the Define Parameters button. The design parameters are used to communicate design decisions from the engineer to the program. We're going to go ahead and start and look at the FYLD parameter, for example. This will indicate the yield strength of steel. Now, all design parameters will have a default value, which has been selected, such as it is a frequently used value for conventional design. As you can see for the AISC 360 code, the default yield strength of steel is 36 KSI, for example. Depending upon the particular design requirements, some or all of the parameter values may have to be changed to model the physical structure. If the default value of a parameter applies to an individual member, that parameter does not need to be assigned to that member. STAD Pro will always use the default values for the parameters unless it's instructed otherwise. We're going to start by specifying the yield strength of steel. 
Now our model contains angle members, HSS tubes, and also wide flange sections. 36 KSI would be appropriate for our angle members, but not so much for the HSS rectangular sections or the wide flange sections. So we're going to go ahead and create a yield strength of steel for those members. We're going to start with our wide flange members and we're going to select 50 KSI. And then we'll go ahead and click the Add button. We're going to repeat this process for the HSS tubes with 46 KSI. We'll click the Add button and then we're going to click Close. Now I don't need to go ahead and specify an FYLD of 36 KSI because for the angle members that value is appropriate and I'm going to go ahead and leave them set to that. I just need to override it for those members where 36 KSI is not appropriate. We're going to notice that all of your design parameters once you create them are going to appear over in the steel design dialog and most of them will appear with a question mark associated next to them. This is your indication that this parameter will need to be manually assigned to the members for which it's applicable. To do this, we're going to go ahead and highlight our FYLD50 parameter, and then we're going to select our wide flange sections. Now I find it for specifying something like an FYLD to select members based on their property. To do that, we're going to go up to the Geometry tab in the ribbon, where we're going to find all of our selection tools available. Here we have several different selection options, including our beams, nodes, and plates cursors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this option. This is to select by property name. And you can see I have several different uh, categories that I can select here. And I'm going to select by property name. And I'm going to select my wide flange sections, which is automatically going to select everything that's been assigned as a wide flange. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and say Assign to Selected Beams. And we'll click the Assign button and we'll confirm this operation by clicking yes. I'm going to repeat this process for my FYLD of 46. I'm going to highlight this parameter. I'm going to come over to my select geometry by property option and this time I'm going to highlight my tubes. Once I do that I'm going to go ahead and say assign and then I'm going to confirm by yes. Now you're going to notice once it has been assigned to at least one member in the model, it's going to appear with a green check mark saying that that parameter is ready to be included in the design. Now let's go ahead and return to the Define Parameters dialog. Now depending upon which code you selected, the Design Parameters dialog will have different uh, options available to you. It is a good idea to go ahead and familiarize yourself with the different options available through the Design Parameters dialog and what their defaults are. So you'll know for your projects which ones should be assigned and which ones you can go ahead and skip. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.